All right, so to do this problem, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a 0, how do you prove that it's a 0? There's two different ways we can prove it. How do you prove it's a 0? You use synthetic division. And there's another way that we proved if it's a 0. Remainder theorem, right? You can take this 0 and evaluate. You can do f of 2i. If f of 2i equals 0, then that's a remainder. Or I'm sorry, then that's a 0. The remainder theorem, we talked about it in your notes. We didn't do a lot of work with it. But you guys need to know you can evaluate it. And if you get 0 when you evaluate it, it's a 0. However, we've usually done just synthetic division because when doing synthetic division, we get the resulting factor, right? Which we kept on factoring down until we got all the linear factors. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I had 2, if I said the 0 was 2, what would you do? What would you do? You'd do synthetic division with that, right? You'd say, all right, Mr. McLogan, well, that's a 0, so that's 2. And then you do 2, negative 1, 7, negative 4, negative 4. Right? Well, guess what? Two i's are 0, not 2. So we're going to do the same thing. So let's practice. 2 bring down is going to be 2. 2 times 2i is 4i. Negative 1 plus 4i. Now, how do you multiply that times that? Well, just use, remember, this was part of your, like, your quiz. 2i times negative 1 is a negative 2i. Right? 2i, 2i times 4i is going to be 8i squared, which is negative 8. 7 plus um, negative 8 is going to be a negative 1 minus 2i. Negative 1 times 2i is a negative 2i. Negative, two, negative 2i times 2i is a negative 2i squared. i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 4. That just gives you negative 2i. Negative 2i times negative 2i is going to be a negative 4i squared, which gives you a positive 4. So is this a 0? Yes, right? It, it divides into it. I know it's a little bit difficult, but all we're doing is now just adding and multiplying uh, your complex numbers. Now, here's where it gets difficult. Guys, remember when we talked about square roots, right? The square root of 3. If I told you the square root of 3 was a 0, then what else did you already know was a 0? Negative. negative square root of 3. It's the same thing with your complex numbers, right? Because remember, your complex numbers is the square root of negative 1. Plus or minus the square root of negative 1 would be your 0. So if 2i is a 0, what else do you know has to be a 0? Negative 2i. So I do negative 2i. And then let's synthetically divide again. Take again these factors. 2, negative 1 plus 4i. Negative 1 minus 2i. Negative 2i. So again, we go through it again. Bring down the 2. 2 times that is negative 4i. Negative 1. Gives me a positive 2i. Negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2i is positive 2i. Is that a 0? Yes. What's my remaining result? That's my remainder, my constant, linear, quadratic. So what I have is 2x squared minus x minus 1. Now, they're trying to, fi they're trying to find all the zeros, though, right? So I write this out, 2x squared minus x minus 1. Now I need to factor this. So how do you factor that? Well, you've got to see. Factor could only be 2x times x right there, right? Factoring practice. Uh, let's see, since that's going to be negative, it's going to be minus 1 plus 1. So now my zeros are 2i, negative 2i. Set these equal to 0, do 0 product property. I have 1, and I have a negative 1 half. So I have four zeros. Or, f or I could write this as, it didn't say, just says find the zeros, right? Not the linear factors. Yeah, find the zeros. I have four zeros. Two of them are complex. Or two of them are imaginary, two of them are real, right? How many possible zeros, how many zeros do I have to have? My four, right? So I'm good, right? So if you just did 2i and 2i, and you're like, oh, OK, I'm done. That's only, you only solved the two. You only proved that two zeros. You have four linear factors, which is going to give you four complex zeros, all right? So you've got to make sure you keep on going on. So just factor that through. Questions? Anything? No? OK, just practice on this stuff. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so um